Good morning students. I am Alfi Jos, Assistant Professor in Mathematics, Little Flower College, Kuruvai. Today we are going to discuss about the numerical methods to find definite integral and this belongs to module 4. Okay, so here we are going to discuss two rules to find approximate value of definite integrals. Consider a definite integral integral a to b f of x dx. By fundamental theorem of calculus, integral a to b f of x dx is f of b minus f of a, where capital F of x is any antiderivative of f of x. This method you all know. And this is the most used method to evaluate definite integrals. But in many cases, it is not so easy to find an antiderivative in elementary functions. For example, in these three examples, it is hard to find the antiderivative for these integrands. So we are going to discuss some numerical methods which will give us approximate value of this definite integrals and here we will study two methods trapezoidal rule and Simpson's rule. So come to trapezoidal rule. Consider the definite integral integral a to b f of x dx. As we all know the integral of f from a to b is the total area of the region between the curve x-axis between x is equal to a and x is equal to b considering the area below the x-axis to be negative. The trapezoidal rule approximate short stretches of the curve y equal to f of x with line segments that we will describe now. This is similar to Riemann integration and Riemann sums that is we are going to take a partition for a b of equal length that is h is equal to b minus a by n. How many partition will be there is n and h is the h is the step size that is if we are dividing it into four equal intervals the step size will be b minus a divided by four and y i's are f of x i that is if he, here you have x naught this is y naught this is x1 this will be y1 if this is x2 this is y2 and these x naught y naught x1 y1 x2 y2 etc are the points of our curve okay now the draw vertical lines from this point x naught to the point x naught y naught from x1 to this x1 y1 from x2 to x2 y2 so consider this shaded region this shaded region is a trapezoid and we know that area of a trapezoid is half h into a plus b where a plus b are the lengths of the parallel side so this is also a trapezoid right of height h and lengths of the parallel sides are y1 and y2 so what will be the area of this trapezoid half h into y1 plus y2 right so we are adding these shaded regions in each and every trapezoid we are having so what will be the total area t we will denote it by t which is equal to area of the first trapezoid that is h by 2 y0 plus y1 plus h by 2 y1 plus y2 etc h by 2 yn minus 1 plus yn and adding these quantities we are having h by 2 y0 plus 2 y1 plus 2 y2 plus etc plus 2 yn minus 1 plus yn that is this will be the trapezoidal approximate value of the integral of f from a to b so this is the trapezoidal approximation you have to study this formula and it is very easy integral a to b f of x dx which is approximately equal to h by 2 into y0 plus 2y1 plus etc plus 2yn minus 1 plus yn okay but for the first thing is that y0 first image in y0 last image in coefficient 1 on the back all of them coefficient 2 on okay